Romney, in, in the book you wrote just before this campaign began, you said you were surprised that the press in the last campaign didn't press for more specifics on how to fix Social Security and Medicare. So let's fix that tonight. Let me ask you specifically, would you reduce the cost of these programs by raising the retirement age for Social Security, by raising the eligibility age for Medicare, or by reducing benefits for seniors with higher incomes? Uh, let me lay it out. First of all, for the people who are already retired or 55 years of age and older, nothing changes. It's very important because I know the Democrats are going to be showing videos of uh, you know, old people being thrown off cliffs and so forth. But don't forget, <laughs> don't forget who it was that cut Medicare by $500 billion, and that was President Obama to pay for Obamacare. So let's not forget that. With regards to Medicare, I would lay out the plan that, uh, well, I actually did a couple of months ago that said, again, for higher income recipients, lower benefit, a premium support program which allows people to buy either current standard Medicare or a private plan. And this is the proposal which uh, uh, Congressman Paul Ryan has adopted. It's a proposal which I believe is absolutely right on. We have a premium support program, give people choice, let competition exist in our Medicare program by virtue of the two things I've described higher benefits for lower income people, lower benefits for higher income people, and making a premium support program in Medicare and, and Social Security a, a, a slightly higher retirement age. You balance those two programs. By the way, the third major entitlement, Medicaid, you send back to the states. And the fourth new entitlement, Obamacare, you repeal that one. And finally, you get our balance sheet right. Mitt Romney's plan is simply not bold. We have a deficit now in Social Security. We have deficits now in Medicare. And he wants to say, well, we're not going to touch anybody now. There are 60,000 people in this country who are earning over a million dollars a year as a senior. And he's saying, no, let's not touch them. I, I know it, it's, it's popular here to say, oh, we can, just, we can do this and it's not going to cost anything. But look, it's going to get tough to get our federal spending from the current 25 percent of the GDP down to 20, down to 18 percent, which has been our history. We got a huge number of obligations in this country and cutting back is going to have to happen. I know something about balancing budgets. In the private sector, you don't have a choice. You balance your budget or you go out of business. And we, we simply can't say we're going to go out and borrow more money to let people set up new accounts that take money away from Social Security and Medicare today.